Alright, magandang hapon everyone. Sa mga kararating lang, uh, I've mentioned a while ago, um, yung nakashare po, this, this is um, our event for today. This is uh, in slido.com. It's event number 24214. So this is, uh, ano, it's a new tool from slido.com para mas interactive, interactive ang ating webinar today. So... You can answer yung question na nandyan so that uh, malalaman natin later kung sino yung uh, winner, kung sino yung uh, used editing software na ginagamit natin lahat. So we have, as of now, we have 26 participants. Um, in a few minutes, we will start. Um, All right, so it's 3.05. Habol na lang yung makakahabol. We will start. All right, so tignan natin kung sino yung nanalo dito sa ating poll. Ayan. What image editing software have you used before? Ang panalo po ay maraming nag, ano, sumagot ng nan. So marami tayong beginners in the house. Alright. And second one, halos nagkakaano lang sila is si Photoshop and si Canva. Alright. So marami rin na yung mga, ano, you can still uh, vote. Alright. Okay, we have we have I have closed the the uh, no voting so we can check. Um, right later we will again um use this platform. Um, I'm gonna share with you my screen. Your other screen. Ayan. So this is introduction to basic photo and video editing. All right. So I have um I know I have activated another poll. Where are you from? Tagasaan ka? Anong city or province? Ayan. So, where are you from? Taga saan ka? You can answer para alam natin kung sino yung taga saan yung mga ibang kasakaan natin. Alright. So, while answering that, we will go to our presentation. So, Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well today, mga kapatid. Um, before I start with the training, uh, let us pray. Magandang hapon po, Ama. Thank you so much, Father, for giving this wonderful full day for us to gather in your name, Father. We praise and lift you up today. You have given us another opportunity to appreciate life and to fulfill our mission as your instruments of love and gratefulness. Please pardon us for our shortcomings. Help us to amend our sins. May we learn to pattern our lives through your son's example. Father, bless all our endeavors, especially today's webinar. Please give us a good connection. Guide us in our discussions as, as we share our talents and gifts for your king, kingdom and glory. Enlighten our minds. Give us your grace that we may go out and spread what we have learned in the spirit of your love and generosity, Father. Bless our plans, projects, so that we may achieve our objectives for your greater glory. All this we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, so magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Thank you so much for um, investing your time today. Welcome to this free webinar. Um, uh, in this training, I'm going to be sharing with you 
an introduction to basic photo and video editing. Um, before we start, just to let you know why am I doing this. Honestly, unang-una sa lahat, I'm doing this for free. Um, again, walang bayad, and to just share the knowledge, skills, and blessings I have received from God. Pangalawa, I'm doing this webinar to help others become a virtual professional. Um, pangatlo, uh, para matulungan din ako personally, especially in research, to enhance my knowledge and improve yung aking kaalaman sa industry nito. Truly, sharing is caring. So, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, Skillshare with ADC. Ayan. And click the bell button for the notification so you will get notified for new videos or upcoming webinars. Thank you so much. And uh, I won't waste much of your time anymore. So let's start. Expectations. All right. So this training is beginner friendly. And for those who want to learn a new trick or two in photo and video editing. So if you're an expert in photo and video editing, don't expect much as this training is for beginners or intermediate, all right? So this is for those who are in between decision if this is the perfect niche for them. Um, today's class requires creativity and effort. Hindi lang yung nakinig ka sa akin tapos magaling ka na mag-design. I hope that everyone is prepared to have an output at the end of this session. May quiz po tayo later, so listen carefully. Uh, may mga, ano, so this will be exciting. Tignan natin kung sino yung mga nasa ranking. Alright? So, audience participation is highly encouraged. So, mga, yung mga hindi pa pala nakakaalam, I'm using this presentation in Canva. So, uh, you can also can use presentations in Canva, PowerPoint presentations. We have actually teachers in the house and students. So, it's a mix of uh, culture today. So, nakakatuwa. Alright. So, uh, hopefully, yung mga teachers na kasama natin, um, uh, hopefully, hindi sila expert sa photo and video editing. Baka, ma ano tayo. Alright. So, I expect everyone to enjoy the webinar and have fun. If you have questions, feel free to chat in the comment section and we'll try to answer it as soon as we can. Uh, prerequisite, this is for newbies and students do not need experience using any professional layout program. Hindi kailangan high school graduate or college graduate or graduate ng fine arts. Basta interesado ka sa design, you are welcome to join. Ang kailangan lang, you are required to have some basic computer skills and you have to know how to use Windows or Mac operating system. Um, sa mga nagtatanong, yes. A certificate of attendance will be issued if you attend the event from start to finish. Just email me your correct name to be reflected on the certificate and we'll send you the electronic one. All right. So, meet your trainer. Ayan. Sa mga hindi po nakakakilala sa akin, ako po si Arlene Australia Afalia de la Cruz, Tubong Baguio City, Philippines. I am happily married with two kids. I graduated Bachelor of Arts in Political Science at St. Louis, Louis University and also studied Bachelor of Laws or Juris Doctor until my second year. I'm a mompreneur and manages two FB pages. I'm a virtual professional for nine years and a virtual assistant for six years. I have 18 years of experience in customer service, especially in the hospitality industry, locally and abroad. Um, by, the, by the grace of God, I'm a top-rated Upwork freelancer. I do freelance graphic design, video editing, freelance writing, editing, and sometimes do podcasting to clients remotely. Um, I'm a mom. I'm good at multitasking from cooking to doing the laundry to typing up notes while breastfeeding. So yeah, I'm good at managing multiple projects and tasks that are unassociated. In my free time, I also do arts and crafts. 
All right. So what are the topics for today? So we will be covering number one, photo editing, uh, basics of photo editing, history. Uh, we will be having uh, basic lang sa Photoshop and basic lang din sa Canva. Video edit editing. Uh, what is video editing? Goals of video editing. We will touch uh, small part in Powtoon and Filmora. And of course, we will have an output after this class. Okay. So system requirements. Uh, before we jump to the topics at hand, these are the system requirements for photo and video editing. Uh, memory, kailangan po yung ating computer. Um, meron siyang 4 to 32 GB RAM or as much as you can afford. Ide ideally, at least mga 16 GB siya. Uh, kasi mag -e edit ka ng mga video, so kailangan malaki yung hard drive mo, um, yung memory mo para hindi siya mag-bug down, hindi siya mag-buffer. So smooth yung pag pag ano mo pag gawa mo ng projects mo processor mo it should be multi core intel i5 i7 i9 uh, i9 is the best uh, preferably uh, four or more processor cores uh, pero kung wala ka pang budget okay lang din i5 ganyan storage at least 256 M, uh, gb hard drive yan preferably ssd so, mas mabilis daw kasi ang uh, ano, SSD kaysa sa HDD. So, bas, buy as much as you can afford. And you can always add external hard drives. Ganyan. So, graphic, graphic card uh, depends po sa ating video editing software. So, may mga, may mga malalaki pong kumain ng drive. So, depende po sa ating ano. So, today we will be... Uh, our uh, the software uh, the the editing tool we will be using today for video is Filmora 9. So if you're familiar with that, um, we will be discussing it naman in the introduction. So, um, okay lang. So, uh, again, for example, you can use Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, in AMD and NV IDR. Ayan. So minimum of two GB memory, okay na siya. And uh, your OS or operating system should be Windows 7 and up. Or if you are using a Mac, it's a Mac OS X. Linux, uh, your, o your OS will likely determine the editing software you go with. All right, so uh, I hope clear po ang ating system requirements. Unlike po sa, sa na-discuss po last week about sa virtual assistant, mas mababa yung system requirement nun. Uh, as compared to this photo and video editing. So, mas malaki talaga pag photo kasi marami kang itadown na photos, marami kang gagawing video projects. Alright, why graphic design? Bakit mo kailangang matuto ng graphic design? Unang-una, good designers are in demand. Um, design is ultra competitive, but there is and always will be a demand for good designers. So, if you have talent, uh, the necessary skills and determination to work hard, then you can always, you can be confident that you will always be able to find work. Pangalawa, siyempre, um, great career opportunities. Uh, pwede kang maging branding specialist, graphic designer, uh, photo and video editor, ads creator, web designer, um, creative virtual assistant, content creator, uh, ano pa, social media manager, paint designer, yung mga taga-print ka ng design sa t-shirts, tarpaulin, pwede kang mag-print ng menu, ganyan. So, uh, ano pa, community manager, you can be also a logo designer and so, so, so much more. Alright? Number three, uh, you can, uh, you get to flex your brain muscles. Uh, good design is about so much more than just making things look nice. It's a very thoughtful, challenging profession. Designers are creative problem solvers. So each brief represents a fresh challenge. You get to use your brain for much more than just filling in spreadsheets or uh, sending emails every day. So um, graphic designer then, uh, they are great problem solvers. Um, ano pa? Ano yung, uh, ano yung masusolve ng design mo? 
kung paano mo ma-achieve yung goal ng brand and so on. Number four, every day is different. So, exciting ang graphic design kasi iba-iba yung challenges mo every day. Uh, walang copy paste sa design, okay? Kasi you'll be preparing unique things daily. So, yun yung maganda pag nagdi-design ka. It's your unique uh, creation, kumbaga. Um, five, every day is a learning process. Totoo yan. Um, as a designer, you'll never stop learning. You'll never stop evolving. And of course, you will constantly be developing. Um, there are always new trends, new tools, new technologies, new theories, new sources. Uh, new sources of uh, inspiration. Creative mind never stops learning. Um, ano pa? Creativity is fulfilling. Uh, graphic design is something that you can have real passion for and can give you a real sense of satisfaction. It involves creating something, uh, going through a process to produce something tangible rather than just getting buried in reports or paperwork. So, um, iba kasi yung level ng satisfaction kapag nakagawa ka ng design mo. Um, it's uh, ano, indescribable, kumbaga. Number seven, you can make a difference. You can make a difference in the world. Bakit? Siyempre, everybody wants to feel like they are making difference in their job. And as a designer, you'll be able to see the fruits of your labor and get a real sense of achievement in your work. Seeing something through the finish is uh, very satisfying, sabi ko nga. Nakaka, hindi, hindi mo ba describe? Um, you'll join an industry with a rich heritage of making people lives better. Ayan. So, number eight, life is too short to stay stuck in a job you hate. So, kung ikaw yung um, tao na um, uh, ayaw mo na sa trabaho mo, if you are feeling stuck in your current career, at gusto mo ng career change or naghahanap ka ng work from home jobs or student ka at naghahanap ka ng possible career in the future, then graphic design is one of the best choice careers out there. Ito yung career na walang interview. O sino yung mga may gusto magpa-interview? So ito yung career na walang interview. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-memorize. Uh, puhunan mo lang yung design samples mo na isi-save mo sa portfolio mo. So kung wala ka pa ang portfolio, Make one now. Ayan. Practice your craft and learn as much about the industry as you can. Again, um, uh, use uh, Google. Google is your best friend. I've mentioned that a lot uh, last, uh, last week about the, uh, uh, the other webinar. So again, Google is your best friend. Um, after all, life is too short to spend every working hour doing something that doesn't inspire you. So... I can assure you, life as a designer is full of new inspiration every single day. I'm so happy na maging designer. So basically, most if not all of us are, um, uh, we will uh, go na to ayan, photo editing. What is photo editing? All right. So uh, basically, uh, most if not all of us, are adept at ano, photo editing. So, uh, lahat tayo, even, even yung mga bata ngayon, mga uh, sabihin na natin na uh, uh, seven years old and above, marunan na sila mag-edit ng pictures. So, uh, basta meron kang editing software sa cellphone mo, ang gagaling nila mag-selfie. So, di ba, uh, we usually use our cell phones Ang nagkalat ang mga apps sa phone. So, I'm sure baka mas marunong pa kayo mag-edit sa akin. So, what is photo editing? Photo editing is the act of altering an image, whether they are traditional or, or digital photographs or illustrations. So, other terms of photo editing, meron tayong image editing, post-processing, image or photo manipulation, photoshopping. Ito yung usong-uso na other other uh, term ng photo editing, photoshopping kasi nga uh, na, na edit mo yung isang photo. Kasi by using a Photoshop uh, uh, photo software which is Photoshop. Ayan. And another uh, term is image or photo enhancement. Alright. So basics of photo editing. 
number one, sharpening or softening. Uh, basically, ito yung ito-darken mo yung, yung, ano, yung, yung photo or ilalighten mo siya. Uh, number two, correcting. Paano mo siya i-correct? Tapos, cropping. Ito yung pinakamadaling gawin natin. Kung ayaw mo, kung ayaw mo, ano, um, paano mo ito? I'm sure, uh, marami sa atin yung very, very familiar sa, sa um, term na ito. Kasi, kung hindi mo type yung sumama sa picture, ayan, pwede mo siyang i-crop. Ayan, ganung sentiment ba? Alright, so number four, compression or resizing. So you, you can compress or resize in any way you can sa photo. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's the basics of photo editing. History. Ayan. So the first known example of photo editing happened in 1860s to a photo of President Abraham Lincoln. So before the invention of computers, uh, people had to edit images by hand. So mostly, ang mga editors natin noong, noong uh, unang panahon, they are using... Um, they are using tools like ink or paint or airbrushes. They are, um, or some are editing by pasting uh, photos together. So parang may collage, ganyan. So noon pa man, meron ng mga ganon. So in, 18, uh, in 1980s, uh, photo editing computer programs for personal computers were made. And the first version of Adobe Photoshop was released in 1987. Alright, since then, it has become one of the most popular photo editing programs. It is so popular that many people now use the word Photoshop to mean photo editing in general. Alright, so um, Photoshop again is... Holy Grail. Yan, ito yung mga Holy Grail. Holy Grail ng ating uh, designers. Alright, so what are the best free photo editors in 2020? This is real time. This is um, actually uh, published in uh, last ano, July. Ngayon lang. Ngayon lang siya. Last week ng uh, June. So, number one uh, is GIMP or G-I-M-P. All right. Number two is a shampoo photo optimizer 2019. These are three photo editors. Number three is Canva. Number four is um, Photor. Number five is Photo po, uh, Post Pro. Six, Paint.net. Seven is Photoscape. Um, number eight is Pixel RX. Number nine, Adobe Photoshop Express Editor. Number 10 is Tizap. Ayan. So, ito po yung latest na free photo editors 2020. So, you can uh, you can check out uh, my Trello board on, on the link below. HTTPS colon slash slash bit.ly slash 32H9J6R Andun po lahat yung mga pwedeng um, tools na pwede yung magamit. I'll just open uh, open it in a... Oh, mamaya ko na i-open. Uh, we'll just finish this up. Tip ko po para sa inyo what to look for in a free photo editor. Uh, when you're using a free photo editor, the first thing to consider is your level of confidence and experience. If you simply want to make a few adjustments or yung top tatanggalin mo lang yung blemishes and improving colors, example, then a simple online tool might be perfect for you. Doing the job well without overwhelming you with options. If, on the other hand, you're interested in more advanced editing, then you'll want to focus on desktop software that offers tools such as layers and masks. So desktop software is also a good choice if you have several photos to edit and some free photo editors can even edit photos in batches. Um, it's also worth considering what you'll be using the exported photos for. So marami po tayong uh, photo editors out there na uh, minsan uh, nagbibigay din siya ng low resolution. So you can check that out. Kung kunyari uh, nag-upload ka ng, ng photo dun sa site na yon, tapos pag dinownload mo, bumaba yung resolution niya. 
you can ano uh, mawili ka ulit ng ibang photo editor. All right. So uh, for today, we are going to use Photoshop and Canva for our demo class later. Uh, again, check out my Trello board on all the tools you can use uh, for um, graphic design. And as a virtual professional, you can check that out. Um, be careful lang kasi case sensitive po si Bitly. Um, uh, kung, mali, kung meron kayong um, uppercase na nalagay, hindi po mag-open. So again, https colon slash slash bit dot li slash 32h9j6r. Ito po yung um, tools. I'll be sharing the Trello board later. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam nakaka kung ano yung Trello board, uh, Trello is, ano po, it's like a post-it cork board, kumbaga, and um, the real time, ganyan. Alright. What is a photo editing software? Photo editing software is a tool which you can use to manipulate and enhance images. To make this easier, editors use uh, photo editing software programs uh, and uh, I'll be showing you ito. Since we are going uh, going to use Photoshop, um, we will be ayan, ito yung ating gagawin. Uh, the latest uh, Photoshop is Photoshop CC 2020. Again, Photoshop is the holy grail of all designers. Uh, yung bagong, uh, bagong Photoshop ngayon is, um, uh, it's an amazing software for editing your images. If you're getting started with uh, Photoshop CC 2020, um, it's, it's good na mag-research po tayo, gamitin natin sa Google, si Google po ang ating best friend for the tutorials to help you learn the program. So I won't be discussing that anymore. Um, ano lang, um, later I will show you my, uh, my Photoshop, ano kasi we'll be editing it. But I'll be using the lower version kasi mas sanay po ako doon. And um, iba pa rin yung sentiment niya sa akin. I'll be using Photoshop CS3. Uh, it's the same uh, ano ngayon sa CC 2020. Lang, it, isa lang naman yung nadagdag sa CC 2020. But it's, it's okay na rin for editing uh, for editing uh, photos. All right. So before I'll do the demo, uh, we can um, discuss Canva and then I'll be uh, doing the demo for Photoshop and Canva para hindi na tayo pa jump na uh, pa laktaw laktaw ng ating topic. All right. Uh, Canva, again, uh, Canva is Founded on January 1, 2012 in Sydney, Australia by CEO and co-founder Melanie Perkins together with Cliff Obrecht and Cameron Adams. Si Melanie Perkins po, she's half Filipina and half Australian. So, uh, super talino tong batang ito and really, they are, ano, um, uh, talagang tumaas yung earnings nila since uh, no, since 2012, grabe. Uh, the company says more than 500,000 organizations use its workplace collaboration platform as well as 90,000 schools and universities worldwide and 55,000 nonprofit organizations. So, ano ba ang Canva? Canva is ano, it's a graphic design platform that allows users to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, and other visual content. It is available on web and mobile. So it, uh, ano, um, dame. it integrates millions of images, fonts, templates, and illustrations. All right, so I'll be sharing another screen. As I mentioned a while ago, we will be using. So we will be using Photoshop. Ayan, so ito yung Adobe CS3 Extended. Ito yung matagal ko nang ginagamit. So makaluma, makaluma po ako. But it's okay. You can, kung uh, you are an advanced 
uh, gusto mong bumili ng uh, Adobe Photoshop CC 2020, okay lang din. Actually, it's uh, ano, there's a free trial for seven days. You can you can check that out. If you like the program or uh, the the tool, then you can use it, or you can either use free uh, editing softwares. Ayan. So, ituturo ko lang yung mga basic muna. Uh, most, uh, if not all naman, nandun din sa CC 2020. Uh, Alright, this is, this arrow here is the move tool. Um, well, uh, syempre, yung word na move, syempre, the move tool does what it sounds like. It allows you to move items in your image. Ayan. So, mag-open tayo ng ating image para maki mas makita nyo. Um, okay, si ate. Ito. Alright. So, uh, palakihin natin. Ayan. So, kung i-click mo yan, ayan. So, ma- Uh, hindi siya ma-move, could not complete your request because the layer is locked. So, anong gagawin natin? Kailangan natin i-click yung background dito sa right side, yung naka-lock. I-click okay mo lang. So, yan, naka-unlock na siya. So, pwede mo na siyang i-move, ganyan. So, this, eto yung nagagawa ni Move Tool, alright? Um, yung next in line is the Marquee Tool. Marquee tools, basically, uh, these are tools that make quick selections within your image. So, kung gagawin, gagamitin natin si Marquee tool, ganyan. So, pwede mo siyang i-paste sa new doc sa isang, ano, kunyari, control C. Control C is, is of course, copy. And, control, kunyari, mag-open tayo ng isang uh, new document para makita natin. Um, ang nilagay ko is 1.5 by 1.5. Ang 1.5 by 1.5 is standard image for Amazon pictures, Amazon images, or Instagram. Pwede rin siya. So, we'll be opening this one. Uh, kopyahin natin. Naka, actually, naka-transparent yung ano ko. So, kung i-zoom lang natin siya, control minus, ganyan. So, i-zoom natin. Tignan natin si ate. Control C. Control V. Ayun, nandun na siya. So, yun lang yung nagagawa ni Rectangular Marquee Tool. So, kung ayaw mo naman na rectangle na ganun, select mo lang siya and then click deselect or Control D. Ganun. So, kung gusto mo naman na elliptical marquee tool, syempre, bilog yung masiselect niya. I-move mo lang na ganyan. Control C. I-paste mo siya sa other, ano, Control V. Um, ganito na. Ayun na si ate, nakabilog na siya. Ayan. So, ganyan. Ganyan lang yung nagagawa ng ating marquee tool. Alright. So, the next in line is lasso tool. Ang lasso tool, parang pareho lang din sila ni, ano, ni marquee tool. They, uh, they create selection within an image. So, um, try natin itong si lasso tool. So, ganun mo lang. Ganyan. Okay. Yan. Ganyan. Ganyan. Igaganun mo siya. So, mag-ganun lang. Masiselect mo na siya yung isang image. So, kung nagmamadali ka, pwede mo namang gamitin yan. Ayan. So, later, we will be using this one. Si, actually, yung gagamitin natin mamaya, si polygula, pol Polygonal Lasso Tool. Ayan. But I'll, I'll be showing that later sa ating demo. Pagkatapos ni ate. Ayan. So, the next in line is Magic One and Quick Select uh, Selection Tool. So, si Magic One, actually, ang ginagawa lang niya is, ano, select a portion of your image that has the same or similar similar colors. So, deselect muna natin siya. Kunyari, eto. Ayan, isiselect lang niya yung same image. So, yan lang yung nasiselect niya. Ganyan. Or, pwede rin ito. Ganyan. So, medyo, ma, ano, ma, ma, ano pa siya. Magulo. Ganyan. So, one image. Ganyan. Si, ano naman, uh, quick selection tool. Yan. Kailangan natin i-select. Yan. Ito naman si quick selection. Para lang din siyang marquee tool. Ayan. So, if you, 
if you want to have in-depth knowledge more on this one, um, I'll see what I can do if I can I can record a video uh, of Photoshop lang, introduction to Photoshop. So lahat po ng aking mga webinars, it's introduction. So basic lang po. So again, kung expert ka, um, do not expect anything na mas, ano, mas, uh, ano pa sa basic. Kasi I'm just teaching yung mga basic guys lang po. Alright, so the next one in line is crop. Of course, napakadali po nito. Alam nating lahat ang crop. Ayan, so ayan yung crop button, matatanggal na siya. So ikaw, pag ikakambi mo to sa isang, ano, sa isang new document, uh, new, new layer, ano siya, uh, yan lang yung ma-ano uh, ma niya, control C, and then control V. Ayan. Parang pareho lang din siya ni Marky Pro. Ayan. Kung meron po kayo mga question, just pop it out. I'll just answer it later. Alright? So, focus muna tayo sa ating demo. Um, slice tool. Actually, nawala na yung slice tool nito sa GC 2020. Eh. Ewan ko kung bakit. Siguro hindi nila type. Kasi medyo, ma ano to eh, medyo uh, mahirap siyang gamitin. So, okay lang din na nawala siya. Kasi hindi ko naman siya ginagamit. Alright? Uh, the next one is ano um the eyedropper tool si eyedropper uh, eyedropper tool uh, i-select niya kung ano yung gusto mong color sa sa foreground mo or sa background um nakalimutan ko pa lang sabihin what are foreground and uh ano background color so yung foreground uh, color mo is the color on top yung eto eto yung color mo on top. Ito, nakikita ba? Ayan. And then yung background, siyempre, yung nasa likod. Likod, uh, under, uh, under the foreground background. Uh, a color pala, sorry. So, yun. Yun lang yung isi-select niya kung gusto mo ng ivory or ganyan. Ganyan yung maano ma ng, ng eyedropper. Isi-check niya kung ano yung color or foreground or background colors. Alright, brush and eraser eraser tool. For eraser tool, mari, madali naman siyang intindihin kasi syempre, pang erase siya. Pang bura. So, pag ginanyan mo na, nabura na. So, paano mo ibabalik? Control D lang para wag kang magpanik. Control D lang tayo lagi. Ayan. So, kung nagkamali ka, control D. Ayan. Baka malupabas sa exam yan. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, brush Tool is, of course, uh, ginagamit natin ito sa paint. Ayan. So, uh, we won't be using this today. Um, ganun lang, brush. Kung ano yung color, kung ano yung color na nasa foreground mo, yun yung lalabas. Kunyari, um, ang color mi is red or purple na lang. Ayan. So, yan yung lalabas na color. Ayan. Ganyan. Ganun lang. Okay. Clone stamp. Um, eto yung clone stamp. Eto yung mga tools na medyo, ano, um, uh, talagang uh, medyo nagagamit sa, sa Photoshop. So, I'll be just mentioning a few, okay? So, eto si clone shop. Click mo siya. Alt pala, sorry. So, pag i-gaganon mo, ayun, nakopya na si ate. Di ba? Ayan. So, ganyan ang clone. I-click mo lang, i-alt mo, i-click mo yung alt key sa inyong keyboard. And then, uh, alt, tapos yan, i-gaganon mo. Kung ano yung gusto mong image. And then, pag i-gaganon mo, ayun na si ate. Na-clone na siya. Ayan. So, nawala na yung una na picture niya. Ayan. So, this is for demo purposes, Okay. Ano pa ba ang pwede kong i-ano sa inyo? Healing brush, we will be using that later sa ating demo na napakaganda. <laughs> zoom tool, kung paano ko yung mag-zoom, you just to click on um, uh, yung plus, control plus button, ganyan. Tapos pag, uh, pag zoom out, control minus lang siya. Ganun. Ganun lang. Okay. So, those are the basic tools na pwede yung magamit sa Photoshop. 
Ayan. So, ikuklose na natin si ate. Hindi natin siya isi-save kasi uh, hindi naman siya yung edit. Demo natin ngayon. So, um, alright. Sa ating mga, sa ating um, ano kanina, sa ating ano yun? Sa ating slido.com audience interaction. Ayan, wait lang. Ang nanalo po doon, I will show you the results. Wait. Ayan, so... Yung sa audience interaction, where are you from? Taga saan ka? Anong city or province? Mas marami po ang taga Baguio. So, panalo po si ating Baguio. Alright. So, most of you came, are coming from Baguio City. So, may mga taga Pangasinan din. An an antique. Totoo ka. Parang, wow. Welcome. Welcome sa aking webinar from Antique. Meron tayong from Visayas. Alright. Okay, so balik tayo sa ating Photoshop. Ano lang yun? Um, commercial. Okay. Nawala na yung aking background. Pero okay lang. We're going to open. Um, ang gagawin kong demo for today is to how to blend layers. Yung kung paano ka mag-blend ng layers. So i-open natin ang ating demo. Ayan, so... Ang gagawin natin si Hope, actually, ginawa ko to last year sa ating Father's Day presentation. So, uh, nagpaalam naman ako sa aking asawa. So, ayan, gagawin ko siyang demo for today. <laughs> so, um, i-ano lang natin. So, gagawin natin siyang Hope for today. Kung paano ko nagawa yung presentation ko last year about sa Father's Day. Um, eto na, eto na yung mga nagtatanong uh, ng mga estudyante and teachers. Paano mo nagawa yun? Ayan, sige. Ituturo ko sa inyo. Mas super dali lang nito in 2 minutes, uh, 5 minutes siguro. Ayan, sige. So, iaan yeah, natin, isi-zoom natin siya. Control plus. Again, zoom is control plus. Alright. So, ayan na si Hope. Ayan. So, paano natin ililipat yung mukha ni Hubby? Si, 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 ito si Anthony, ang aking asawa. Yeah. So, we've been married for 15 years now. Ayan. <laughs> so, i-ano lang natin. Oh, nagpaalam naman ako. So, sabi niyo, okay lang gamitin mo yung mukha ko sa demo mo. No problem. So, i-ano lang natin siya. <laughs> Ayan. So, uh, ga gagamitin natin is yung polygonal lasso tool. So, paano natin yung iaano? So, kukunin natin yung face niya. Ito. I-click natin. One. Ayan. Okay. So, dahan-dahan natin kuhanin yung kanyang face. Tapos, i-connect mo lang siya. Ayan. So, na-select na natin yung mukha niya. So, nung gagawin natin, control c Again, control c is copy. And then, ipipaste natin. So, dito sa layer na to, sa picture ni Hulk, uh, meron lang tayong isang layer. This is layer 0. So, kung gusto mong magdagdag ng isang layer para sa ating, um, para mapalitan ang kanyang mukha, you can just control j meaning uh, add a layer, copy. And then, ilalagay natin dito yung mukha ni Anthony. Control V. Ayan. So, malaki, mas malaki yung, yung ano ng photo niya. So, ang, ano gagawin natin? Para kasi masyadong malaki siya. So, pag i-control, i-zoom out natin siya. Ayan. So, pa ang pangit. Para siyang alien. Ayan. So, ang gagawin natin, you have to, uh, to click your keyboard. Control P. Tapos, uh, i-click mo yung shift para hindi ma-distort yung kanyang face. And then, moving inward po yung photo. Ayan. So, moving inward. And then, release. 
Tapos, kunin mo yung move tool. And then, you just put on the face. Ayan. So, i-enter mo lang. Tapos, i-click uh, control, control plus again to zoom in. Yung ano, para mas tignan natin yung detailed na mukha niya. So, basically, hindi pa siya ganun ka ano. Parang hindi pa siya naka ano. So, anong gagawin natin? Control T again to select the layer. And then, dito sa right side, nakikita nyo ba dito sa opacity? Opacity is 100%. So, kailangan natin siyang bawasan ng konti para makita natin yung kanyang mu o mata. Ayan, si yan yung kanyang mata. Yung kanyang ilong medyo na-distort. So, kailangan natin. Again, kont uh, shift. Kung imove mo yung image, shift lang. Ayan. Ganyan. Tapos itatapat-tapat mo lang yung, yung mata, yung ilong. Kung kakasya, ganyan. I basically, i ano mo lang yan, tapat-tapat mo lang. So, kung satisfied ka na sa hitsura niya, okay na siya, enter mo lang siya. Don't forget to change the opacity to 100% again. Alright? Tapos, i-click mo yung layer 1. I-click mo dito. And then, right-click mo, select pixels. Ayan, si pixels na select siya. Punta ka sa... So, select dito sa taas, sa tab, sa taas. And then, go to modify. And then, go sa contract. Ayan. So, we will contract this by 6. Naka, ano naman na siya na 6. So, okay. Click okay. Para yung face niya medyo mamove konti inwards. Okay? And then, uh, tanggalin mo, i, ano mo, uh, tanggalin mo yung uh, layer of visibility. Tanggalin muna natin siya. Pati yung sa layer 0, tanggalin natin. So, ang i-retain natin yung layer copy, layer 0 copy. Tapos, i-click mo yung delete button sa keyboard. O yun, nawala na yung mukha niya. Ayan. So, click on the layer again and the uh, um, layer 0. Click. Click mo control, ganyan. Tapos, punta ka sa edit top. Auto blend layers. Ayun na! Diba? Napalitan na siya. <laughs> so, ganun lang kadali. Uh, punta tayo. Then, uh, hindi pa siya tapos actually. So, i-deselect mo lang. Punta ka sa select. Deselect mo lang siya. Um, dito na lalabas yung creativity mo kung paano mo siya maano. So, ang gagawin natin, medyo, diba, makinis yung finish niya. So, um, gayahin natin yung grainy feature ni ano ni Hulk. So paano natin gagawin 'yan? Punta tayo sa filter. So ibig sabihin hindi natin siya mai-edit kasi yung image po is naka-layer pa siya. So kailangan natin 'tong i-merge lahat yung layer. Ayan. So i-merge lang natin sila, merge layer. So nag-merge na siya as one. Punta ka sa filter. And then put on artistic and then punta ka sa film grain. Tignan natin yung yung grain niya. So, um, punta tayo dito sa uh, film grain. Um, eto grain is naka 3. Tignan natin kung okay yung 2, medyo clean pa rin. So 3 3 I guess is okay. Pag 4, medyo malabo na siya. So 3 I guess is okay. Then click mo lang si okay. Ayan na siya. Ayan. So, uh, I mentioned a while ago we will be using the spot healing tool. So, eh, ano mo lang, uh, i-ayos lang natin siya, ganyan. Yung mga white spots sa kanyang face, ganyan. Ayan. Tanggalin-tanggalin lang natin yung kanyang para medyo magmukha naman siyang totoo, ano, hope. Bye! Alright, so siguro okay na yan. Alright, so tignan natin. If you're satisfied with your design, uh, you can click to file and then save as. Uh, usually, I use, um, ginagamit ko PNG, so demo Hulk Anthony. Ayan. So save natin as a PNG file. So hayan na siya. Ganun lang po kadali ang gumawa ng isang uh, this is, ano, how to blend your layers. Okay? 
So, how to make you look like a Hulk in Photoshop? So, yan, ganyan lang po kadali yung ating uh, demo sa Photoshop for today. Um, ano pa ba? We'll go to the picture para mas tignan natin kung, kung ano na yung itsura niya. Ayan. Ayaw mag-open. All right, so uh, I'm gonna share yung picture. Ayan. So, eto yung finished product natin. So, mukhang hindi na siya si Hulk. Kamukha na siya ni Anthony Hulk. So, yan si Anthony Hulk. All right? So, our next demo will be on Canva. I will be sharing my screen again. All right, so Canva. So, I'll be removing my Photoshop para hindi mag-bug down si aking computer. Okay, so Canva. Uh, this is again founded by uh, the CEO and co-founder Melanie Perkins. Ayan, nabanggit ko na pala to. So, we will be going to the Canva home. So, yung mga hindi pa po nakakaalam ng Canva, there are so much more, and dami-daming, ano, uh, ang daming uh, ang daming options sa Canva. Uh, you only need to explore and check out their tuto uh, tutorials. Grabe. Uh, so much, so much opportunities. Especially yung mga new to designing. So this is Canva. Uh, I'm, I have a pro design. Uh, for teachers in the house, I think you have a Canva education. Free po ito para sa teachers. Mag ano lang kayo mag mag log in lang kayo so you are so lucky you are using Canva Pro for free ayan so yung mga gusto ring gumamit ng Canva you can use Canva Canva Pro for free for 30 days so i activate yun lang yung inyong Canva Pro and you and you you'll need to enter your uh, credit card details pero make sure na after 30 days kung ayaw niyo na siya you deactivate yung credit card kasi automatic po siya na nag-charge. Mag-charge po sa inyong account. Alright, so um, uh, I'm using a, um, what is this? a pro Canva Pro account but I'll be opening another uh, free account para, para sa, mga, ano, sa mga hindi familiar sa Canva. So we will start from scratch from there. Okay, so mag-sign out tayo Okay so I'll be sharing another screen so this is um uh Canva Pro in a free version Okay mag-login lang tayo kung meron ka ng account you can log in And so you can create or you can sign up uh, for for free um uh, for free accounts marami ka ng design like this one this is a free account uh you can just sign up make uh ano kung may email ka sign up um i recommend this for really beginners and intermediate na din those who do, doesn't have do, uh, hindi wala pa kayong alam sa mga templates ganyan pwede rin naman siya for expert uh, you can be a creative uh, design um, uh, or you can be a creator for Canva if you want if you're an expert already mag-apply lang po kayo sa kanila and if you are if you are qualified they can uh, accept you ayan so eto po ang mga nilalaman ng Canva Canva free account. Meron ka nang pwede kang gumawa ng um, uh, post gamit ang Instagram. Uh, you can also use poster, presentations, video, logo, Facebook post, infographic, ganyan. Um, ang daming options. Ang dami-daming options uh, for, 
for beginners out there. So, ayan, pwede kang gumawa ng logo mo sa Canva. But make sure po, kasi si Canva ngayon, they are, ano, pag gumawa ka ng, ng um, Canva logo, ay, huwag mong, huwag mo siyang lagyan ng trademark kasi makakopyright po kayo. I will be discussing the copyright uh, law later uh, uh, after nung video editing kasi kasama rin yun sa, ano, uh, but yan yeah, um the logo is ano in the logo in Canva is subject to copyright as per for i license agreement so uh, just check it out uh, wag po kayo mahiya kay Google magtanong po tayo kay Google again Google is your best friend pag wala po tayong wala po tayong alam na sagot tanong po natin si Google ayan si Google marami siyang alam ayan so, um, ito po yung, again, you can make presentation or uh, Instagram post. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon sa ating demo is, um, siguro ito na lang, si Facebook cover, ay hindi, Facebook post. Asan ba yung Facebook post? Para mas, ano, mas, ano, sa, mas familiar sa ating lahat kasi, Siguro um, lahat naman tayo nag-Facebook. Wala naman siguro dito sa uh, ngayon na ano, walang Facebook account. So I'm sure lahat po tayo na nandito have a Facebook account. Alright. So eto, this this picture is actually uh, with water, watermark. So pag may watermark siya, ibig sabihin, um, ano, uh, this is uh, paid. So, kung naka-Canva Pro ka, um, ano siya, uh, kasama siya sa binayaran mo. Okay? So, eto, nandito sa taas, yung Try Canva Pro. You can try Canva Pro for uh, free for 30 days only. Okay? So, this is, a, again, this is a free account. So, um, ano, pag, pag eto yung ginamit mo, yung may watermark, Ano siya, may bayad siya pag isi-save mo na siya. So, you need to, to, para hindi siya magkaroon ng watermark, nagyan mo lang siya ng picture na free. Marami po dito. Um, eto po yung interface ni Canva. So, you have, you have tabs sa taas and then meron kang, meron kang, um, ano, uh, tawag dito, tabs din dito sa, ano, sa, sa left side. Meron tayong templates, merong uploads. Kung nag-upload ka ng mga pictures mo, you have the photos. These photos are for free for all Canva users. Actually, si Canva, na-acquire niya si uh, Pexels tsaka si Pixabay, actually. So, these are um, ano, um, free, free photos. Sila yung mga nagbibigay ng mga free photos online. Ayan. So, you can use that for free with no copyright. Okay, so mahirap kasi mag-post ng mag-post ngayon, especially we are subject to copyright. So make sure na all your creations are unique. It's not subject to copyright, okay? Um, so today, ano ba yung gagawin natin? Ipapakita ko ang isang trick ni Canva. So ang gagawin natin, tanggalin lang natin sa lahat. So select natin and delete. So, meron tayong, um, ano, meron tayong um, blank template. Uh, actually, for me, uh, mas prefer ko ang blank. I, I don't, I, hindi na ako masyado gumagamit sa template. Pero uh, for sa mga students ko, I, I usually uh, encourage them then to gamitin muna yung mga template. Pero kung, kung okay na, magaling na, kayang-kaya uh, na nila, they can make their own template na. So now we can, uh, para we can create something from scratch, we can use a blank template. So anong gagawin natin? Titingin tayo ng background dito sa baba. So again, dito sa left side, may mga templates tayo. Upload photos, elements, text, merong music. Ito yung bago sa Canva, dati wala silang music na yun. It is available na, dati wala. So, this, this week lang yata nagkaroon ng music. So, 
very, this is real time. Ayan. So, meron na rin silang videos, then background. So, pipili tayo ng background. Ano bang magandang background? Um, yung medyo mahirap para happy. Ngayon lang tayo ng background. Kape-kape muna. Kung nagugutong kayo, you can take a break. You can just, ano, um, mahirap tumingin ng background. Yung eto. Wait, 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 wait. So, mapipili tayo ng medyo mahirap na background. Mukhang okay naman sila lahat. Yung bamboo na lang para, wait, eto. Yan. So, this is free. Tapos, um, ano lang siya. Ang gagawin natin is, um, last week, I thought about uh, another uh, background remover. So, si Canva meron din siyang ano, background remover. Alright. So, titingin tayo ng ano bang maganda. Ito, mga nakamask. Ayan. So, um, I, I, ano, pag, pag ah, mag-aano kayo ng picture, i-drag nyo lang. Huwag naman git ng gita kasi putol naman sila. So, hindi, no, hindi naman pwede na ilagay mo sila sa taas kasi ang pangit. So, um, kailangan meron ka rin sense of design talaga. Medyo dapat uh, ma-art ka. Ayan, si, ano, meron may nagsabi sa akin, si Arlene yan ma-art eh. Walang E. Yung ma-art na without E ha. Hindi, hindi po ako ma-art eh. Ma-art lang. Ayan, so... Um, ayan, andyan sila lo. Kaya na ang pangit, 'di ba? Ang ano, so tatanggalin natin yung background. Paano natin tatanggalin? Punta ka lang dito sa effects. Click mo yung background remover. Um, ayan, naglabas si Try Canva Pro. Try Canva Pro for free. Ayan. So okay lang. But I I own niya pag sa ano hindi siya available pala sa ano sa free so yung mga wala pang ano you can try kind of for pro for ano i pero it, for purposes of them i will show you sa aking pro account hold on i share ko lang yung ano aking account so this Ayan, so this is my account. Open tayo ng Facebook. Facebook. Ayan, hindi pala pwede yung effects doon sa free. So, um, sad lang. Pero okay lang yun. Uh, you can try. You can try naman Canva Pro for free. So, ayan, mayroon tayong blank. So, ano yung background natin kanina? Yung, ano? So, um... Ito na lang, gamitin natin. Free. Ganyan. And then, we will get yung ating photos. We'll go to the photos. Ito na yung mga nakabas. Ito na lang sila ate. Ayan. So, again, hindi po natin sila ilalagay sa gitna. Ilalagay po natin sila sa baba. Or sa gitna. Ay, ganyan. Tapos, i-drag nyo lang po yung picture para kumasya sila sa screen para hindi sila mukhang nahate. Ayan. So, para matanggal yung background nila, go to effects and remove the background. And let's just wait sa, ano, how Canva will show it. Depende po sa speed ng inyong internet. Uh, medyo, baka abutin tayo ng dalawang oras pa. <laughs> Joke na. Ayan. So, Um, ayan. So, ayan. Natanggal na natin ang ating background. So, ayan. So, um, medyo hindi siya perfect katulad ni Photoshop. But, okay na siya. ba diba? Acceptable na rin siya. Kasi, uh, nakikita pa yung banga dito ni ate ko. Oh. Ayan. So, pwede mo naman tanggalin. Ayan. O, oh, itago mo siya. Ganun. So, Ayan, yung hair, um, awesome lang. Kasi ang hirap nitong tanggalin pag nasa Photoshop ka. So, 
kung, kung si Canva, kaya niya yan, or si Remove BG, kaya-kaya rin yan ni Canva. So, yan, di ba, finish. And, and medyo malabo lang yung ibang ano, but okay na, okay na. And then you can, you can just, ano, you can just download it. Ayan. So, this is available pala for pro. Hindi pa siya available for uh, free. Ayan. But anyway, you can, again, as I've said, you can try Canva Pro for free. Ayan. So, you can just download it kung ano yung resolution na gusto mo. Ayan. So, i-download mo lang siya. And, andun na yung photo mo. Ayan. So, you can, you can save it. Ganun lang. Ganun lang kasimple yung ano. Ayan. So, um, uh, another uh, demo I will show you is, ano, um, I actually, um, birthday nung anak ko ngayon, yung bunso kang baby, uh, hindi ko, actually, hindi ko na, na, naalala na birthday pala niya. So, um, anyway, um, I'm going to, nagpa-schedule ko ng webinar. Hindi ko, hindi ko naalala kasi, ayan, Managkaka, ano na tayo, meron na rin akong EDAD. Alam nyo ba ang EDAD? Ayan, nagkakaedad na po tayo. Ayan, so we have EDAD na. Ayan. So, um, another um, demo I'm going to show to you is um, how we can, uh, we'll, we'll create another post. Um, pag gusto nyo, ano, you can just add add another post. Tanggalin na lang natin itong background niya. Ayan. Alright. So, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is yung text letters. So, gagamitin natin. I actually made um uh, parang um wait lang. I will show you the one I made. Alright, so, so I will share this. Ayan. Ato, so ato, I will show you how I did this. Actually, gumagalaw to. Ayan. Ayan. So, gagawin natin yan. Ito tulo kung paano ko nagawa yan. Birthday niya pala, hindi ko alam. So, we're going to do that in a few minutes. I'll just share again the, my other screen. Okay. So, paano ko nagawa yan? Um, punta tayo sa elements. So, maraming elements na nandito. Ano lang, explore lang kayo. Um, super, actually super love ko si Canva kasi ang dami ko rin uh, natututunan. Ang daming designs, super daming designs everyday. Uh, ang dami nilang nilalabas na design. So, go lang. Go ahead lang and explore. Ang dami pong, ano, ang daming possibilities sa... Ayan. So, meron siya dito si, ito yung mga letters. So, i-ano na natin to mag-add tayo ng isang page. Tanggalin natin yung background. So, ano ba yung gagawin natin na pangalan? Kunyari, ayan si Akakaya. Mulang. Para pumunta siya doon. Oh, internet connection is unstable. Naglolo ko yung ating internet connection. Hopefully, hindi mawala, hindi mag, ano, um, ang ginagawa ko, nilalagay ko muna lahat yung letters. So, A-K-I-L-A-H. So, pag nas, na, 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 nakuha mo na lahat ng letters, i-click mo lang sila and then i-resize mo. Ganyan. Tapos kung saan yung pwedeng, ano na, yan kung saan mo sila pwedeng ilagay. So, ayan. So, Aquila, H, A, L, 
ay ayan may baliktad okay so ganyan lang so this for purposes of demo hindi ko na siya i-align uh, baka maubusan tayo ng oras baka umabot tayo ng bukas joke <laughs> all right so ayan na yung letters pa, um, depende sa iyo kung ang gusto mong ilagay is yung picture or kunyari picture ng girl girl ayan so pwede mo siyang uh, lagyan ng baby na lang baby girl para happy para hindi yung mga malalaking girls na nandiyan so ayan lagay mo lang siya drag mo lang siya ay ayan so uh, naka pro pala to yung mga pictures so hanap tayo ng free uh, ano na lang kung, kung um ito na lang para for 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 producers of ayan i-drag lang natin dun sa gilid ng uh, sa taas ng ayan letter dito sa part dun mo lang siya i-drag so drag and drop drag and drop lang siya kung gusto mo rin pwede ka rin mag-i-click ng videos tingin ka ng free Again, we're using a free, ayan, ayan, oh. So, gagalaw yan. Ayan, ayan. So, pwedeng iba-iba. Ang ilagay mo, ayan. Pwedeng picture. Yung kay Akila kasi ginawan ko siya yung video niya mismo, eh. So, ayan, mag, ano ka lang, i-click mo yung picture. Kung hindi ka happy sa picture, pwede mong itaas, ganyan. So, mas, mas kita si yung baby. Alright, so uh, for purposes of demo, bilisan na ay uh, i ano lang natin. So ganon, ganon lang ang mag-add ng ng im uh, image sa letters. Kailangan yung letters na na gina, ginamit natin, yung frame na ginamit natin is ano? Uh, meron siyang uh, ano ba yon yung uh, meron siyang overlay na tinatawag. Pwede, pwede kang mag-drag mag ng ano doon, ng, ng picture. So, hanap tayo ng background. So, ang mga nilagay ko video, uh, at ang mga video na to, actually, it's ano, uh, medyo ma mat mataas yung pixels niya. So, kung gusto mo picture, okay lang din. But for purposes of demo, again, I will just be, uh, ano kung paano ka ginawa. Yung kanina, pwede kang maglagay ng uh, since, ayan, birthday, birthday party. So, tingin na lang tayo ng picture dito. Um, pink, para, ayan, yan yung background. Ayan. So, drag and drop mo lang siya. Tapos, maglagay ka ng, ng ano dyan, text. So, ano yung gusto mong text. Uh, ayan. Maglagay tayo. Mm, naklik ba yun? Ayan. So, palitan mo lang yung text na yan. Tapos, happy birthday. Ganon. Birthday. Ayan. So, pal i i ano mo, control A mo. Palitan mo yung kanyang size. So, yan. Happy birthday. Tapos, kung satisfied ka na sa design mo, kasi depende. Iba-iba kasi tayo ng, ano eh, ng design concept. So, ah, uh, each one of us is unique. So, uh, nasa sa inyo kung paano nyo pagagandahin yung isang picture. So, tinuro ko lang kung paano mo i-drag and drop yung ano. Tapos kung paano, paano um, pag i-click natin to, paano siya sa sayaw, yung ganyan, may mga ganyan. Meron siyang uh, gumagalaw yung, yung ano, yung, um, uh, meron siyang gumagalaw na ganyan. So, um, I, I, I hope you get the idea. Okay. So, um, para hindi tayo na abutin, mag-430 na kasi. So, um, depende na sa ano mo. So, let's, let's move out of Canva and proceed to the next one. Um, so, ganun lang. If you have question, I may make uh, a video for this more, more ano, detailed kung paano gawin. But I hope you get the idea na pwede ka mag-drag and drag. Uh, drag and drag lang sa ano. And this is the one I'm using is a Canva free account. Okay, so explore Canva 
if you are uh, a newbie, check it out. You mga teachers in the house, you are ano, you are very lucky kasi you have you have your own Canva education. You can you have a Canva education program and kung approve yung ano nyo, yung application nyo, you can uti utilize Canva Pro features for free. So lucky you. Ayan. All right, so we can go back to the our our ating Okay, I'll be sharing you the next you next slide. Okay, so what is uh video editing? Video editing is the process of manipulating and rearranging video shots to create a new work. So um, editing is usually considered to be one part of post-production process. Other post-production tasks include titling, color correction, sound mixing, and so much. Okay, so maraming, medyo madugo ang video editing. But basically, ang ginagawa lang kasi ng um, nag edit ng video is to yung ina rearrange mo, uh, you are rearranging, adding, and or removing sections of video clips and or audio clips. So you, you are applying color correction, filters, and other enhancements, creating transitions between clips. And so on. So um, what, are, what is the goal of editing? Um, there are many reasons to edit a video and your editing approach will depend on the desired outcome. So um, goals of editing, uh, remove unwanted footage. Actually, this is the simplest and most common task in editing. Tanggalin mo lang yung i-edit mo lang, tanggalin mo yung, yung unwanted footage. Um, many, many videos can be dramatically improved by simply getting rid of the flawed or unwanted bits. Number two, choose the best footage. This is the simplest. I, I know, it is common to shoot uh, far more so, uh, footage than you actually need. And uh, often you will shoot several versions of a shot and choose the best one when editing. Create a flow. You, uh, flow. Usually, uh, ang video, kailangan din meron siyang story. So, go ahead and make your story when making a video. Kasi you're, you're adding effects, you're adding graphics, music, and so on. And this is often called the wow part of editing. So you can improve most videos by adding extra elements. All right. You can also add effects, graphics, music, uh, alter the style, uh, the page or mood of the video, uh, give the video a, par a particular angle, and so on. Um, all right. So yun yung mga basic ng video editing. So alam ko, most of us, uh, know how to take a video. Si Abby say nga na six years old, he knows how to just click yung record button when you take siya ng video ng sarili niyo. So, ayan, uh, six years old at that, he knows how to, pero hindi pa siya marunong mag-edit, but he knows how to make a video. So, lahat po tayo marunong mag-video editing, pwede natin enhance yung ating knowledge regarding that. Okay, so Powtoon, I'll be showing you uh, uh, this is a tool na ginawa ko dun sa aking resume the last time I show uh, I had a webinar. So I'll be I'll be showing that later. So um, ano ba tong Powtoon na to? Powtoon is a British company which sells cloud-based animation software for creating animated presentation. So Powtoon kasi it is part PowerPoint and the word cartoon. So na, yan, that, kaya natawag siya na Powtoon. Okay. Uh, we, later for the demo, um, discuss ko muna yung Wondershare and yung musical accompaniment para sabay-sabay na sila for demo later. Ayan. So Wondershare, ito yung tool na gagamitin natin for our, our video editing software. So this is for beginner and professional users. So madali lang yung interface niya. Uh, makakagawa ka ng video mo in 5 to 10 minutes lang. Depende sa, sa dami, kung ano yung, depende sa iyo, kung gaano ka simple or gaano ka complicated yung gagawin mo. Okay? Uh, musical accompaniment, uh, every great slideshow or vi video needs to be accompanied by great music. So, 
Finding the slideshow music can be challenging thanks to copyright restrictions. You can't just use any music or video or photo you find on the internet. Huwag ko kayong kukuha ng inyong mga uh, photos sa Google kasi may copyright. May copyright po yun. Copyright law makes it illegal. So what is copyright infringement? The term copyright infringement uh, refers to using material that isn't your own. So, ma-demanda ma po tayo kung ginamit mo yung isang material na hindi sa'yo. So, whether someone is a professional musician, amateur songwriter, their work is automatically protected by copyright. You are not allowed to reproduce their work without their permission. So, using a song you find on YouTube puts, puts you at risk for copyright infringement. So, be careful. Search po, uh, mag-search po tayo kung ano yung mga pwede na songs na accompaniment for, ano, for, uh, for our videos. Okay, so again, copyright infringement can be settled in a civil lawsuit and could result to thousands of dollars being awarded to the victim. You and you alone would be responsible for those fees as well as any court fees. So it's not worth the risk kung, kuku kung kukuha kayo ng music na hindi sa inyo. Alright, so it is important, so ngayon pa lang, you're a beginner, intermediate, it's important to find high quality music that is legal for you to use, and there are a few resources that can give you access to that, okay? So may mga copyright free music po tayo, um, uh, please check out uh, the link on my Trello board, again, https slash bit.ly. 32H9J6R and dun pa, oh, oh wait, i-share ko na lang para alam nyo yung ano, yung na, nakalagay doon. Uh, you can, um, actually that's my invite so you can check it out. Um, eto, this is my Trello board. Nakikita nyo. Ayan, this is my Trello board. This is Skillshare with ADC. Please, if you are able to check in na dito, please do not move yung mga boards. So, andito po yung subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. Merong yung job sites na I discussed during my previous webinars. Virtual assistant tools. and na din. Meron tayo yung stock photos. Ito yung mga stock photos na pwede nyo gamitin. Yung sites na pwede nyo gamitin. Usually, I use Unsplash, Texas, and Pixabay. So, I get my videos and photos there. So, that, that is for free for you to use. Walang copyright. Si stock videos then Ayan. So, meron din silang videos for uh, pixels. And um, may mga, andito rin yung mga photo editors natin, video editor na, na uh, hindi lang si Filmora. Marami po tayong video editors. Meron tayong iMovie, Lumen, ganyan. You can check this out. It's beginner friendly naman ang, ang Trello board na ito. So again, kung hindi po kayo confident, you can check out. You uh, you can uh, check it with Google. Google is your BFF. Ayan, si ito yung music. Please read yung musical accompaniment. Andito po yung mga, uh, ayan, nilagay ko na rin dito na kung ano yung mga uh, pwede nyong puntahan. Yung mostly, ito yung mga iba, mga creative commons. Meron din si YouTube library free for, free for use po ito sa mga... Uh, katulad nyo, if you are a creator, YouTube creator, you can use it and there's no copyright restriction. Ayan. Okay? So, again, please do not use the boards. You can you can use this for free and this is a big help. I'm sure this is a big help for, for you. Magagamit nyo po ito. Ayan. So, that is my Trello board. Um, yung, in, yung invite po na ano, yun yung, gina, yung, ano, yung kanina na link, that is my invite. Okay, so we will move again to Ayan, so musical accompaniment. Ayan na yung ayan. So malapit na tayong matapos. So um i-open ko pala yung aking Powtoon. Uh Ayan. So paano din sino open si Powtoon? Si Powtoon po free din siya. So, tignan lang natin, Powtoon. Punta ka lang sa powtoon.com.
So marami po silang templates dito. It's a uh, PowerPoint cartoon ang style niya. So pwede kayong mamili ng mga templates. Uh, maraming, maraming, ano, maraming uh, pagpipilian. This is uh, for free. Uh, hindi po ako, ano, endorser ni Powtoon or ni Canva or ni Wondershare. That's all the use I, that's all the tools that I use for making my life easier. Ayan. So, ito po yung template category. Mamumili lang po kayo kung is this for work or for education or for personal use. So, you can check everything. Uh, this is uh, I think there's a free account and there's a pro account. Okay, so today, um, I'll be I'll be giving you, siguro um, ayan birthday kasi ano birthday ni Akila so gagawa tayo ng birthday video. Um, ano lang, kung napil, nakapili na kayo ng template nyo, click mo lang yung use template. Tapos mag-fill in the blank ka lang. Um, I use this uh, Powtoon for my ano, video resume. So, meron din dito yung um, template for video resume. So, you can, you can use this one. So, ayan. So, mag-add name ka lang. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. O, oh, ayan. Si... Double click mo lang. So, Akila. Ganyan. And then, punta ka sa next slide. Para lang din siyang PowerPoint na cartoony. Ganyan. Kaya nga siya Powtoon. Ayan. So, ilagay mo yung picture niya. Mag-upload ka ng picture. Ganyan. Paano ka mag upload ng picture? Ayan. I-click mo pala yung swap. Sorry. Um, ayan. So, Kunyari, eto. Kasi I've uploaded Aquila's picture. So, ilagay mo lang siya doon. Next. Mabagal ang aking internet kaya kung saan-saan napupunta yung image. So, control Z lang. Again, swap. Um, insert image. Kung gusto mo ng background na iba, pwede rin. Ayan. So, ganyan. Palitan natin yung background ko lang. Ayan. So, let's mag-add ka ng text. Uh, love you or love. Ganon. Ayan. Tapos, uh, kung okay ka na sa design mo, um, i-play mo lang siya. Meron na rin kong music. So, you don't need to worry. So, ganon lang. Um, i-save mo lang siya. I-click mo lang dito sa save. So, for purposes of demo, actually nakagawa na ako nito. Um, then, we, we will just uh, play it sa Filmora. Okay? So, I have uh, uh, the Filmora. You can try Filmora for uh, 30 day, uh, 14 days for free. Again, uh, you need to buy this. Medyo mahal talaga ang mga, ano, ang mga tools. Okay, so ganyan siya. pwede na natin tong i um, explore sa Filmora ay i import sa Filmora. Ito yung interface ni Filmora. So we're going to have a new project. Click niyo lang yung new project. Ayan. So ito yung interface ng Filmora. So this is a blank um, interface. So paano tayo magi-import? Ito yung mga um, uh, sa taas niya yung tabs niya, meron kang media, audio, 
titles, transition, effects, uh, elements. Ayan. Split screen pala yun. Ayan. So, um, yung nasa taas niya, it's file, edit, tools, view, export, and help. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, i-import natin yung ating um, media files, yung gagawin nating ano, video. Okay? So, yeah. So, as in yung demo. Yeah. Demo video. So, yung kalakila. So, eto lahat, we can, we can import kasama na yung yung songs. So, ayan. Alright, so kung paano ka gagawa ng iyong, ano, drag and drop lang siya. Drag, drop, drag, drop lang siya. So, kunyari, itong mga, kung, um, depende sa'yo kung ano yung concept mo. So, since ang ano natin is birthday celebration, so, puunahin ko yung si Pautun. So, ilalagay ko siya doon sa una. Um, pwede mo siyang, eto yung, etong ano, eto yung, uh, eto yung zoom in and zoom out. So, i-zoom zoom out muna natin siya para, ano, tanggalin natin yung, no, nakuha pala siya, no, nakuha no, no, music. So, uh, andun na yung, Um, ayan, so andito yung naku, nalagay pala siya lahat, pati yung music, pati yung pictures. So, uh, iuuna ko na lang to, yung video na eto. Ayan. So, yung ginawa rin natin kanina na yung gumagalaw, I will put this dyan. Ganyan. So, eto yung. Tapos, lagyan natin lang yung happy birthday na song. Um, actually, ito, it's, so, tignan natin kung paano yung isura niya. Ayan. So, uh, actually, meron siyang sound, di ba? Yung sa birthday template natin sa, ano, meron siyang sound. So, pwede mo naman siyang i-mute. Ayan, tanggalin mo yung sound niya. So, lahat ng sound mo, mute mo lang siya. So, mute natin yung mga sound. Para happy. Ayan. So, para hindi na marinig. Ayan. Tapos, yung maririnig na lang natin is yung happy birthday. So, tingin tayo ng mas maganda pang eto yata yung happy birthday na mabilis lang. So, eto yung mabilis lang na happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So, si, si Filmora, ano lang siya, drag and drop lang siya. So, um, kung, uh, i, i depende sa iyo kung paano mo aayusin yung ano, yung di, dito na lumalabas kasi yung creativity mo eh. So, um, ituturo ko lang yung paano maglagay ng effects sa picture. Um, si Filmora, meron din siyang mga free transitions, effects. So, um, pwede tayong maglagay ng, kunyari, uh, eto, lagyan natin yan dito sa picture. Ayan. Pag ipi-play mo, ipi-play mo siya. Ganyan yung picture niya. Ayan. Or, lagay ka ng iba pang, iba pang effects. Um, kunyari, eto, meron siyang, uh, ayan, tignan natin kung ano yung picture. Merong bubbles, ganyan. So, yan, yun, 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 transition, yung mga picture, uh, maglagay ka lang ng, pwede ito, pwede yung, ito yung ilagay mo, or, um, i-right click mo siya, tapos dito, dito ka mag, ano, um, wait lang. Pwede, oh, ito na lang, magawin natin. Pwede nyo yung eto, ang gamitin mo. Ganyan. So, pag pre-name mo siya. Hindi mo pumasok yung ano. 
So, ayan. So, i-drag and drop mo lang siya. So, yun yung, yun yung effect. Uh, maglagay pa ako ng isa pang effect para makita nyo. na yung creativity nyo kung paano lalabas yung inyong ano and then lagyan nyo ng lagyan nyo ng pwede nyo dagdagan pa yung mga yung mga nakalagay dito na elements um ano pa ba uh, si si Filmora meron din siyang mga elements na for um mga pang birthday pack meron, meron siyang mar martial arts pack mga ganun so Nakakatuwa. Meron siyang pa-confetti, ganyan. So, nakakatuwa lang. Ayan. So, meron siyang mga Chinese New Year. So, pwede niyong ilagay yung mga effect na yan. So, again, for purposes of demo, kasi we're running out of time, um, I will be show, showing you the finished um, product. Uh, the finished project. <music> project for today. In summary, today, again, we learned the basics of introduction to photo and video editing. Um, uh, kung may question kayo, please uh, just message me if you need me to make another, yung step-by-step. -step. Pwede naman, nagkataon lang talaga, we ran out of time today. Um, anyway, so, we covered photo uh, editing, basics, history, Photoshop, and Canva. Puro basics lang po tayo for today. We also covered video editing, what are the goals of uh, video editing, yung Powtoon, Filmora 9, and um, of course, uh, hopefully, meron, pa ta meron tayong ano, um, yung ating uh, audience interaction. So, Wait lang. Huwag kayong matakot sa ating exam. Ano na? <laughs> Super dali lang po nito. Ayan. So, um, are, are you still with me? I will be sharing again yung poll na, natin. Um, we will be, I will be activating the, ano, yung ating yung ating quiz. Okay. So, wait lang. Um, oy, meron si ano. Wait lang. Um, I-activate lang natin si quiz. Okay. So, yung lahat na nandito, please, um, i-ano nyo lang. Uh, punta kayo sa slido.com 
and just check out um wait start the quiz ayan so when was the first version of adobe photoshop released so this is 10 seconds lang so kung nandun na po kayo please uh, answer it wow merong isa na sumagot 100% <laughs> show leaderboard. Show natin yung leaderboard. Yes, si Mark Paddy. Thank you for uh, your number one. Ayan. So, number two. Next question. Um, wait lang. Ha? Ayan, 1987 is the correct answer. So, asan na yung ating next? Number two. I wait lang. Please. Ayan. Ayan. Nag-join. Marami nang nag-join. Wait lang. Uh, yung second na question. Bakit hindi lumalabas yung aking second na question? <laughs> wait lang. Medyo meron tayong ano. Uh, uh, technical ano. Wait lang. Meron tayong technical error. Dapat number two na siya. Ayan. So, present mode. Okay. So, the next one is... Bakit hindi siya nag-ano ng number two? Oh, si Ayesa pala yung ano, number one. Wow! Merong ano, sumagot. Ayan, so, uh, yung next one, bakit hindi lumanabas yung number two? Ayan, so, eto na yung number two. Why do you do this for I am God? Wait lang. Yeah, you try it. Sure. Bakit hindi <laughs> hindi siya lumalabas? Ay, nagising na si baby. Ayan, so wait lang. Anyway, meron tayong technical problems in slido.com. Uh, hindi siya Alright, eto na lang. I ano ko show live. Present mode. If you are yung mga naiiwan, you can still in terms of graphic design what the CMYK stand for. Ayan si Joy, ang nakakuha ng ano number 1. All right. Okay, so CMYK, it was yung nasa printer po, yung cyan, magenta, uh, yellow, tsaka black. Yung K, it's key, ang ibig sabihin nun. Okay, so um, I will share again. Um, Alright, so um, trivia. Yung the very first verse of the Bible actually describes a creative act as God created the heavens and the earth. And additionally, from Genesis, the Bible says God created man in his own image. This could be interpreted as we are creator just as God created us. We created relationships, art, homes, cities, nations, and the creative spirit is certainly favored by God and our fellow man. So, if we are indeed made in the image of God, then each one of us has diverse skills, gifts, 
and talents that we can share with others in the service of the Lord, including design. So we need to encourage the people around us whom God has gifted in creativity to embrace it for God's glory. So God created us in his image and that implicitly it means we are creative be beings. And um, uh, when we allow ourselves to express that creativity in its various forms, we are paying homage and honoring his original design. So wag po tayo magsawa na maging creative. Let's honor God with our work and I'm sure he will bless us. Uh, I would uh, I would also take this opportunity to invite you sa aming church. Please check out the ICOC Philippines and ICOC Baguio Facebook pages for devotional and Sunday service schedules. For now, you can attend the services online. You are just one click away to knowing God. All right. So again, um, once again po, Maraming maraming salamat sa time ninyo. Hopefully nakatulong po ito. It, we just ran out of time. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for joining this webinar, this free webinar. I just want to share my blessings talaga sa skills na natutunan ko as a content creator and graphic designer. Again, I'm doing this for free. Pakishare po itong webinar na ito para makatulong din sa iba. I'll be posting videos, sharing my skills so look out for it. You can like and share this webinar. And please subscribe on my YouTube channel, Skillshare with ADC. Uh, don't forget to click the bell icon to get new uh, video and webinar updates. So always remember, sharing is caring. Thank you and to God be all the glory. Thank you so much for attending.